सपोज योर डेटा बेस टीम हैव ऑलरेडी प्रोवाइडेड यू एन ऑप्टिमाइज क्वेरी इन एस क्यू एल सिंटेक्स और लेट्स से यू हैव अ लीगेसी ओल्ड सेटअप दैट मेक्स इट कंपल्सरी टू रन अ क्वेरी इन ए रॉस इक्वल सिंटेक्स इन सच केसेज यू कैन यूज द फ्रॉम सीक्वल रॉ एक्सटेंशन टू मेक दैट कॉल लेट अस सपोज दैट वी हैव टू एग्जीक्यूट अ क्वेरी दैट सिलेक्ट्स ऑल कॉलम्स फ्रॉम अ टेबल एंड गिव्स एन अलायस ऑफ से फीस टू वन कॉलम कॉल्ड प्राइस सिलेक्ट आई डी कॉमा नेम कॉमा प्राइस एज फीस फ्रॉम आइटम्स सो हाउ डू वी एग्जीक्यूट सच अ क्वेरी एंड गेट द कलेक्शन इन टू आवर प्रोजेक्ट द फर्स्ट रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ सी शार्प साइड इज दैट वी मस्ट हैव अ मॉडल क्लास दैट कंटेन्स द एग्जैक्ट सेम कंपेटिबल प्रॉपर्टीज एज द कॉलम्स सेंट बाय द सीक्वल क्वेरी द नेम्स ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज मस्ट ऑल्सो मैच द नेम्स ऑफ द इनकमिंग कॉलम्स द एस क्यू एल क्वेरी कैन नॉट ब्रिंग रिलेटेड डेटा टू पॉपुलेट द फॉरन की प्रॉपर्टीज दैट वी यूजली हैव इन आर कोड फर्स्ट मॉडल क्लासेज सो वट एवर मॉडल वी हैव इन अवर डेटा बेस इट शुड नॉट सपोर्ट फॉरन की प्रॉपर्टीज and let's see how we can do it practically we must have a model class that contains all the same exact properties so open the item.cs file and add this model class we could have added it in a separate file also but since this is a tutorial i have added it in the same file the model class has three properties id name and fees which match the columns returned by the sql query and notice that this model class has been marked with the keyless attribute it indicates that this is a class just for holding data it doesn't have a primary key it indicates that ef core should not track its db set for updates and deletes so this also means that this class doesn't support foreign key etc as we already told the source code has been attached in the downloads you can obtain it from there but i have shown a part here the db set for this model has to be added to the db context class also locate the entries for db set of items and invoices i provided the source code in the attached downloads so you can have a look at there also add an entry for the db set of this model class and once you have added the db set ef core will attempt to create a table in the database because the default behavior is to create tables for all db set entries obviously we do not want this to happen so for this override the on model creating method and use the to view method of the fluent api to map the query to a view this prevents the table from being created this is what you should be doing for every such model that you want to add to your project and now everything is in place and we are ready to execute the query open the program.cs file and scroll towards the end add a map get api for testing purposes we could have added it to our razor page also but since i have to just show a example so i have added a map get api so that i can show a test here this api will be called from an endpoint let us say my data as i have shown here the query in the sql syntax has been provided by a database expert the from sql raw method is used to execute the query the result is obtained in a list and the list is returned as a json by this api and finally you can run the project and open the my data endpoint we verify that the json is displayed as expected all the names like fees they are all shown in the json as we expected thank you